Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, Adventura has the Royal Return. It's comprised of two different cigars. The King's Gold, which we did a couple weeks ago, in the Corona size, and the Queen's Pearls. And that's what we're looking at today. And this is the Robusto, four and a half by 50. There's the difference. notice after having these and taking the band off this little white band is also metallic and it's uh, held on by some glue right here in the back a little sticky substance that you have to be careful because it's pretty tight but it comes off and it doesn't hurt the cigar except it kind of have to be careful not to squeeze the cigar to get it off now um, this cigar is the opposite of the King's Gold, the Queen's Pearls, and it's a Connecticut Shade wrapper. The binder is Ecuadorian, and the filler is Dominican, Ecuadorian, and Nicaraguan. It's also uh, available in actually three sizes, a uh, Corona, which I think would be very good in this cigar, based on having the Robusto, and a Toro. 6x54. I think a small ring gauge would be work well with this cigar. Made in the Tabacalera William Ventura factory in the Dominican Republic. Um, that's sort of long and the short of the intro. Now, one thing I noticed every once in a while, it'll hit me to just check. Uh, I've done 77 reviews so far this year. This will be number 78. Under this uh, YouTube channel, I've done 994 reviews or videos, I should say. Some of them are not uh, reviews, but 994 videos. This will be 995. Now, as I've told you before, if you go to YouTube and search Tycho Teach, T I C O T Y C H, you'll also come up with what I did as my first reviews under that um, channel. And there's like, I don't know, 70 something, 80 of them. But on this channel, this will be number 995. I thought that was interesting. So we're only going to be five away from hitting 1,000, which won't be long from now. So as far as a cigar, let's get right to it. The Adventura Royal Return, the Queen's Pearls. Robusto. Very light shade wrapper. Look at it under these lights. It almost looks, well, golden. Uh, but it's, it's even lighter than the golden brown almost under these lights. Okay, very good draw. And I took off hardly anything. That's the way I like it. take long to get the flavors it's a nice cedar quite a bit of brown sugar and quite a bit of white chocolate i'm calling the pepper white and it's at eight minimum very large amount of white pepper there's not really anything uh, 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 as far as a lower level like a black coffee i wouldn't call, say that the pepper acts as the base and uh, there's quite a bit of brown sugar which if you extrapolate it out it's a lower level sweet flavor but it's quite nice quite a nice start double checking there that's that, those are your flavors right now so that's how you start nice light sweet start
first third. And it's still about the same, but there's one additional note. There's a very tangy citrus, like a tangerine. It's very sweet. But it's mixed in with that uh, brown sugar and uh, white chocolate. You can get it. It's almost like a nice little surprise in the middle of all of it. There is a heavy, nice white chocolate presence. And even like, it's a very creamy white chocolate. Almost like there is cream, some cream in there. The finish is... White chocolate, a touch of uh, citrus, and pretty nice lingering white pepper we'll go with. We'll stick with that. But the cigar is, uh, strength-wise, I would say it's medium at this point, but it's quite tasty. The first third, I would rate it 93. Very good cigar. So... It's going to be short. We didn't get much out of this. 17 minutes out of the first third, and it's you know burning evenly. It's going to be quick. Into the second third. The white chocolate is not quite as pronounced. Brown sugar is still there. The citrus note is not there anymore. There's almost like a nutmeg type flavor that's drawing the flavor down, drawing the sweet notes down. The brown sugar is not quite as pronounced, and the white chocolate isn't quite pronounced. The white pepper is still in abundance. Plenty. The finish has been affected also. There's plenty of lingering white pepper. There's the white chocolate and some of the brown sugar. And even the nutmeg element there too. The lingering pepper. The pepper is just excellent in this cigar. Medium body. But here in this section it lost a little something for me. Because it was just really nice when it started. I'm lowering the score to 91 for the second third. Again, as I say all the time, I hope or feel like it will bounce back. But uh, this middle section got a little bit muffled, a little bit under the influence of a nutmeg type flavor. So let's see what we have in the final third. down to the end so let's wrap it up the cigar didn't bounce back like I hope it would it um, the brown sugar came out a little more but it's still the nutmeg that was there to me took away from the white chocolate and uh, I would call it medium body the finish is unchanged very good pepper in this cigar Started out really nice and did tail off from the midpoint on. I'm on a whole 91 for the final third. Admittedly, I am not the biggest Connecticut fan out there. It has to really impress me to get a really high score with me. Doesn't mean the cigar is bad, just means it's not for me. But your overall score is 91.67, so it's not bad for a Connecticut, and I must qualify it like that it is a pretty good cigar i just wish it had held the way it was in the first third be that as it may that's the way the cookie crumbles so that'll do it the adventura royal return queen's pearls robusto 91.67 mm-hmm.